We heard that Data Rock was coming to Los Angeles and we wanted to do something cool with them. We decided to take them to an antique synthesizer store to recreate some of their songs live without any rehearsal time. So we called Data Rock and then we called Big City Music because they have the most insane collection of antique synthesizers in Los Angeles. So we grabbed Data Rock from the Grafton Hotel in Hollywood and drove them over to Big City Music. On the way there, we talked about their new album, Red. What we wanted to do with this album was to you know, try to develop what we do a little bit, but still keep the essence of the first album. When we did Data Rock Data Rock, you know, it was more like a fun studio project or whatever, like the songs weren't made necessarily to fit a, a specific kind of live show. Ever since 2005, we always perform with at least four people on stage, which is a drum kit, you know, a bass player, a guitar player, keyboards, percussion, backing vocals. So the new album had much more of a live feel. into giving names to your instruments or does that not appeal to you? No, 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 it does. I named my Steinberg guitar Tron. My drums are obviously many pieces, so you can't just name it a single name. So I named my drums the Talking Hats. My Mark VI Salomon saxophone from 1959. And I'm a JC. I'm not after Jigga, the rapper, but after John Coltrane. Yeah! Right there. Pretty good answer, man. Who is this? It's Jerry. Oh, this is Jerry from Let's Devo. Say hi to Jerry first. Hi, hi, hi Jerry. 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 I just want to say to any and all people there on the other end of this electronic digital connection, the Data Rock is absolutely genius, and I mean it. Thank, Thank you, you so Jerry. much, Jerry. <laughs>We just got affiliated with these local guys here in LA. We started rehearsing in this place called Big City Music. Data Rock had no clue what was inside Big City Music. They kept referring to our cameraman as the new keyboard player. Should we show him the keyboards and everything? This is the new keyboard player. It took a long time putting it all together, but we got a lot of help from the guys here from uh, Big City Music. What do you think about the our rehearsal space? If it works out and you become a, become a steady member of the band, you might even eventually get to play this one. Okay, welcome to our rehearsal space. This is Big City Music. It's a collaboration between someone and Data Rock. What we're going to do today is hire a new keyboard player. I need a shot. I need a shot of Red album, we're using uh, the Juno 6, Juno 6 inch, and Juno 106 for most of the songs. And we don't own any of those synthesizers, which is pretty damn absurd. For some reason, Bergen, there's so much vintage equipment. Yeah, it is. Everywhere. Even though it's a small city, it's really true, you find everything there. But you don't really have like a vintage synthesizer store. Everything is privately owned and everybody is more than willing to lend it to you for free. If we want to hire you, it's not enough just to be a, a keyboard player, you also have to be a singer. So now we want you to sing and get all your friends to sing along. Now everybody sing. No, even you have to sing. No, you have to sing too. No, everybody has to sing. Recording this album actually took 10 times longer than the first. 
the fact that the first album is pretty much drums on top of drum machines. Whereas on this album, uh, the, all the beats are played live and edited, you know, using sound replacement. We add texture.